Well, I'm uh, offering a video response to my own video as a way to um, uh, turn the, the series into a series. Okay? So this is kind of like a, a sequel to the last video about methadone treatment. And uh, I was mentioning how methadone is, uh, uh, at the end, how it works great for pain and how uh, I also know what will work for addiction treatment besides just methadone maintenance. Uh, let's get the pain issue out of the way. Methadone for pain works great. No need to give yourself that stigma about being a heroin addict. You must have been a heroin addict because you're on methadone. For pain, if you've got a chronic pain issue, you need to address it, right? We all know that. Methadone works great for chronic pain. It does. I'm using it. I'm using it now. It works great. I haven't been able to cut it in half because of the medical marijuana, but I'm still using it, and it works great, better than uh, the uh, uh, like organic opiates uh, because of the way they so quickly go through your body. Methadone, however, like I said, it accumulates, stays within your body, keeps its tolerance down so that you can use it and it can have an effect. If you abuse it, it will no longer have an effect. So it's worthless. It's got these little receptors so we can't use heroin over it because they're filled. The heroin signal can't get in there and tell you you're high. Okay. So you don't get high anyway. But like I said, the pain issue for pain there's nothing better than methadone. As far as uh, breakaway pain what you need to do is take and have your doctor give you like a higher dose of methadone so you can have on hand extra dose to add to the dose you're taking in case you have a breakaway pain. Because your, your organic opiates, a lot of this such, they're not going to work for breakaway pain. Because they don't work anymore. Period. Although, in some cases, a lot of them, like I said, Excedrin for migraine works great. Care of my bursitis and sometimes my family. Pain. I'm not sure if you have to deal with that, Paul. Anyway, for the rest of you out there, yeah, for pain, that's better. Don't worry about it. Don't let a stigma get to you. Don't let people call you a dopey because you're on methadone. But if you're going to use methadone for heroin treatment, then you need to find a different therapist. Because let me tell you, I don't know hardly anyone who's used methadone for treatment of heroin addiction and been able to get off the methadone. They're on it forever, just about. I know people who've been on it for decades. They're still an addict. They just want to stay high and want to do it cheaply. It's crazy. Or not face the withdrawal. Well, if you don't want to, excuse me, I'm angry. what you do is you take the methadone and use it for about a week. Maybe two, if you like. Because you will not get an, uh, an addiction in that you know, short of a time span. However, the heroin will be out of your system. You stop using the methadone. Because you don't need it anymore. There's no more heroin in your system. You're not going to have a Jones. It's done. From then on, it's up to you. What decisions you make all day and every day get up in the morning, you decide whether you're going to make breakfast, fill your belly, or go get a bag and fill your brain. You decide when you get up in the morning whether you're going to put your shoes on or whether you're going to go barefoot. You decide in the morning whether you're going to poop in your toilet around the yard. They're all your decisions. No powers, higher or lower. That's the downfall of the AANA system is they keep trying to force you to give what little power you have left as an addict for many years and give it away to some unseen entity. It can't be done. You can't do that. You need that power. You're the one who decides everything in your life every day. So decide correctly. Be the decision maker. The decider. That's it, Paul. We'll see y'all later. Good night. Carol, signing off again. That's my report and my answer.